morning to all of you. I hope that you are all doing well. This is me, Sayyid Shuryatullah. Welcome to T1 Academy. Today we will see development and displacement. And when these two happens, actually this is a sequence. We will go for development of the country. Right or wrong? Yes. Development is nothing but... Uh, Development is nothing but providing providing basic needs and wants to the population. Right? This is called as development. Development means providing basic needs and wants to the population. This is one. Another one is provisioning, provisioning of food security, water security, electricity security, water security, electricity security, educational security, health security, okay, housing security. Means under ki illu nundali. Education security and everyone should have access to education. Electricity security and we in our all homes 24 into 7 electricity undali. Water security means everyone, you, me, and everyone should have at least safe drinking water undali. At least safe drinking water should be there. Under ki durkali. Food also same. Food security means okay, availability of food grains, okay, availability of adequate and sufficient food grains to all the population. That is called as what? Food security. Okay. And housing security. Development ante. Even Okay. Providing basic needs and wants to the population. Okay. And also, and also basically. At the end, at the end, even in a tarvata, okay, if this two happens, this two happens, ultimately the goal of development is, ultimately the goal of development is improvement in standard of living of the people. Implement in standard of living of the people. Okay. This is only called as quality of life. Quality of life. Fine. So, Ikar Shudandi Miru, providing basic necessities or you can say needs and wants to the population. This is the first part of development. This is the first part of development. What is the second part now? Second part is provisioning. Provisioning is nothing but production. Provision is nothing but production. Okay. So to give the first one, we need to first of all produce the second ones. Okay. Then only if you do this and give it to them, then you will see what? You will see improvement in standard of living and quality of life. Improvement in standard of living and quality of life. This is called as development. So the second part of this definition of development is Provisioning. Provisioning is nothing but providing. Providing is nothing but you have to interpret as production. You have to interpret as production. Production of food, sufficient ground ali. Okay. Water, andar ki dorkali. Production of power. Okay. Production of education service. Production of health service. Okay. Housing facilities to everyone, etc. Okay. So you can see that development is one, two. And ultimately you want to have improvements okay but uh, when you are doing this production one food production when you are doing water production when you are doing electricity production when you are doing when you are doing this kind of production what is happening you are seeing what displacement you are seeing what displacement displacement is nothing but here in our context what we are saying is displacement means the people who are living in one area they are forced to move to another area to stay. 
therefore to move to another area to stay just like i stay in toli choki okay akkada oka ikkada manam inkoka aspect add cheddam that is transportation transportation means everyone all of us manam ekkada ekkada untunnam aa areas motham connect ayi undali with with, uh, with regard to transport with regard to transport means i am living in hyderabad hyderabad should be connected to what hyderabad should be connected to all parts of the country you are living in nizambad nizambad should be connected to all parts of the country okay first of all village roads village nundi undi malli rural roads rural roads urban roads then district roads then you are having state highways then you are having national highways so basically what i mean here is transportation connectivity should be there in the nook and corner of the country okay you have to access the all areas of the country that is only called as transportation security ala cheppach you can say that so my example was i am living in toli choki toli choki is a unconnected area in konde toli choki in hyderabad is a unconnected area to koti to chadargat to old city so this is toli choki this is high tech city okay toli choki high tech city this is uh, uh, abits ankondi abits these three areas are there south to north so high tech city powali fine what we understood is chaala mandi abits daggara unna vallu himayat nagar daggara unna vallu dilshu nagar daggara unna vallu many people of that areas will like direct bus ledu high tech city to they don't have a direct bus to high tech city they have to change they have to change one or two buses like that they have to change one or two buses like there is no direct connectivity is not there okay now government planned government planned a metro okay from abits to abits to bashirbag bashirbag to lakadikapul lakadikapul to mahidipatnam mahidipatnam to toli choki toli choki to manikonda manikonda to high tech city so this is way government plan metro government plan metro mahidipatnam nunchi manam toli choki high tech city from my home to high tech city is only 4 km distance okay on the main road itself so if this goes metro ila plan chese right side is military area vallu ivaru left side is all about left side is all about ikkada right to bazar undi chaala mandi idi livelihood undi okay fine now ipudu metro plan cheyalante it has to be between this two only it has to be between this two only but if it is planned that way my home and the the home across this areas they all have to vacate okay toli choki is very big ikkada al hasnat colony undi rahul colony is there ayodhya nagar colony is there surya nagar colony is there samatha colony is there aziz bagh colony is there many colonies are there so what every colony every colony okay uh, the, the the houses of every colony which are at the road facing just like my home which are the road facing okay they all will be they all will be what they have to Uh, destroy government that they have to bring down the buildings they have to bring down that buildings then only they can give way to this metro metro ki appudu way dorukutadi okay so government want to develop this connect these two areas abits high tech city because of people are more people are moving okay more people are moving so this is one of the development aspect okay metro adam is a development aspect because it is it is giving connectivity as because mana definition lo mana rashnam kada transportation connectivity is a part of what development transportation community is a part of development but in the light of development what is happening here okay many houses are also getting in the plan of this metro and we were asked to go from this place to some other place we are asked to go from this place to some other place resettle okay velu manar ma okay fine so now that if government does it and ask us to do that government maaku atla meer vellandi mam master plan estunnam ani chepte that is called as what government is acquiring our land government is acquiring our land that is called as land acquisition antaru that is called as land acquisition in the same way 
government want to build okay some power plants some dams okay some power plants some dams government want to build okay but what happens is generally the areas which are surrounding to that proposed site proposed site means uh, the site where they want to start a new dam project or the site where they wanted to or village where they wanted to start a power project like that okay so in the proposed site the way of the dam is very very big and lengthy you know that chala peddaga dam way chala peddaga untadi malli dam daggara asalu undaddu endukante chala varshalu padinappudu the dam may overflow and daggarga unna vallaki mottham flooded aipothayi okay they will all flooded and they will lose their livelihood and life also so government says that this is a dam coming and ikkada undakandi you just go away from this particular place ani government alla cheptadi okay so going from one place to another place development valla first of all em aitundi displacement aitundi displacement is nothing but coming back again kaadu okay coming back again kaadu okay remember one point here disaster management lo disaster management lo you will always have resettlement untadi resettlement ante okay so if you are having if a disaster cyclone struck hit the coastal plains okay this area ki cyclone struck ayindi cyclone struck this place so the people who lost the life etc government em cheptadante government will again give them some benefits and for for the illu destroy ayipothe government will give uh, some money to renovate our house etc so government will take some initiatives okay those who have lost property and life here Pro life uh, uh, if uh, someone has lost a life then government will give compensation okay compensation they will give if the if the people has lost the property government like building or any asset if they lost the government will give com and this uh, um, there also compensation will be given okay renovation ki double is the government so means here people are not displaced but it, they will be asked to resettle again resettle again where the event happened where the disaster happened they will be asked to resettle again but in development and displacement displacement means you will never come across the word called as resettlement okay but whenever disaster hits you will come across the word resettlement but whenever development and displacement uh, topic is there then you will never come across resettlement okay means the the place from where you are asked to go you will never come back from the, uh, come back to that place you will never come back to the space remember this point okay and right so development because of develop, development aim aitundi displacement is happening what is happening displacement means my family and the families around here they are all asked to go from this place and government promised what compensation government promised what compensation right in the same way a dam a power project if it has been proposed by the government propose chestene okay people will get to know media will get to know newspapers will get to know vallaku andarki telustadi and uh, they will go to the people of that particular village of that particular villages where this project is going and they will ask yeah so uh, government eppudu varaku khali cheyemani cheppindi enta dabbulu isthani cheppindi ivanni sir newspapers vallu adugutu untaru they will ask them they will ask them right fine so what government is doing here government is acquiring the land that is called as land acquisition government is acquiring the area of tolichurki that is called as land acquisition enduku for the development for the development for good purpose only for the development but because of this what is happening displacement means i have to leave my place okay built by my forefathers built by my grandfather grandfathers okay my fathers okay i have to leave my place and i have to go and live in some other place but government will give compensation that is for sure government will give compensation and compensation will come when you die okay after you die the compensation will come for that also we have to ask and ask and ask that is how the system is there here just imagine just imagine just imagine your father shop is there in sultan bazar your father shop is there in market okay has been there for 10 years government says that we want to widen the road road widening yeltunnam mem ok inta undi road traffic ekku ayipoyindi hyderabad lo so road widening ki potunnam so ikkada unna mottham shops unnai kada khali cheyandi ani chepthe how you will feel 
సో యూ మే సే దట్ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ దేర్ సార్ బిజినెసే కదా ఎక్కడైనా తెలిసిన వాళ్ళు ఉంటారు దే కెన్ కమ్ ఎట్ ఎనీ టైమ్ మై ఫాదర్ నోస్ మెనీ పీపుల్ అండ్ మెనీ పీపుల్ నో మై ఫాదర్ దే విల్ కమ్ ఇన్ సమ్ అదర్ ప్లేస్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ మైండ్ ఇట్ గోయింగ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ దట్ ప్లేస్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ మైండ్ ఇట్ ఐ వి విల్ షిఫ్ట్ విల్ షిఫ్ట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద నేమ్ ఇన్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద కంట్రీ ఇన్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్యాట్రోటరిజం మీరు చెప్పచ్చు ఓకే బట్ వాట్ ఎల్స్ ఇస్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ హ్యాపెన్స్ విత్ యువర్ హోమ్ వాట్ డూ యూ డూ దెన్ ఇఫ్ ది ఆస్క్ యూ టు లీవ్ యువర్ హోమ్ దెన్ వాట్ యూ డూ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద సేమ్ ఒపీనియన్ ఎట్ ద టైమ్ విల్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద సేమ్ ఒపీనియన్ ఎట్ ద టైమ్ the 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 home which we have been living for 15 to 20 years okay maybe you have built recently 4 5 years before only okay with all your hard work and money if you have you have built it okay you have built it then what about it will you go will you go no right what not possible even if you are willing to go your father mother they will be traumatized they will be panic they will be very they, they, they will be feeling very difficult to adjust with the new environment which they are going they are happily settled here but they have to leave that particular place they know everyone here they are having a circle proper circle to hang out to talk to celebrate festivals and fest they are having good people here around here now you are asking them to go okay in that age will you like it of course not right or wrong so land acquisition chestunnaru for what purpose development purpose chestunnaru kani displacement aitundi okay means people have to leave their place and go to some other place that is fine kani ee displacement aina vallaki government oka proper jaga ivvali proper jaga ichina tarvata proper compensation ivvali ante double ivvali whatever the 100 gaz 100 yards 200 yards whatever the valla illu undi okay what is the market value of that particular place మార్కెట్ వాల్యూ మార్కెట్లో ఎంత ఉంది మళ్ళీ గవర్నమెంట్ వాల్యూ అటాచ్ చేస్తే ఏం రావు మనం ఫిఫ్టీ ల్యాక్స్లో కొన్నాం కానీ గవర్నమెంట్ మా మనకు మార్కెట్ రేట్ అంతా లేదు ఈ ల్యాండ్కి ఫిఫ్టీన్ ల్యాక్స్ ఇస్తామని చెప్తుంది గవర్నమెంట్ ఊరుకో ఒప్పుకుంటారా మీరు ఒప్పుకోరు యూ విల్ నాట్ అగ్రీ విత్ ఇట్ గెటింగ్ మై పాయింట్ హియర్ సో ఇఫ్ గవర్నమెంట్ గివ్స్ అస్ ఏ ప్రాపర్ ప్లేస్ ఒక ప్రైమ్ లొకేషన్లో జుబ్లీ హిల్స్లో బంజారా హిల్స్లో అలా మనకు ఒక ప్రాజెక్ట్ అక్కడ క్లియర్ చేసి అందరికీ ఒక్కొక్క ప్లాట్స్ అంటే ఇక్కడ ఎంత తీసుకున్నారు అక్కడ అక్కడ కూడా ఒక ప్లాట్ మనకు ఇచ్చే అలా ఇచ్చేస్తే ఓకే అండ్ ప్రాపర్ కంపెన్సేషన్ టు బిల్డ్ అవర్ హోమ్ అట్లా ఇచ్చేస్తే దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ రీహాబిలిటేషన్ అంటారు మళ్ళీ ఈ హ్యాబిటెడ్ వదిలేసి మీరు రీహాబిట్ అవ్వండి వేరే దగ్గర రీహాబిటెడ్ హ్యాబిటెడ్ మీన్స్ టు లివ్ గో అండ్ లివ్ ఇన్ సమ్ అదర్ ప్లేస్ బట్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ హియర్ ఈజ్ గవర్నమెంట్ విల్ అక్వైర్ ద ల్యాండ్ గవర్నమెంట్ విల్ టెల్ టు ఎవ్రీ వన్ దట్ వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ గవర్నమెంట్ విల్ డిస్ప్లేస్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఓకే ఇంతవరకు మంచిగానే ఉంది డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ వరకు బట్ వాట్ అబౌట్ ది రీహాబిలిటేషన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వేర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వేర్ వీఆర్ చీటెడ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వేర్ జనాలు మోసపోతున్నారు అనమాట ఓకే గవర్నమెంట్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ రెస్పాండింగ్ టు దిస్ పర్టికులర్ వర్డ్ వేర్ ఆస్ అదర్ వర్డ్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఫైన్ బట్ దిస్ వర్డ్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ హటనింగ్ అండర్స్టూడ్ మై పాయింట్ ఇయర్ ఓకే ద టోటల్ ద టోటల్ అవర్ టాపిక్ rest on these concepts only nothing more than that okay so i have told you the concepts i have told you uh, how it happens okay and everything is properly dealt here now we'll see the facts okay as i have told you that since india's independence in 1947 there has been lots of lots of economic development activities there have been lots of economic development activities in the form of massive infrastructure development రోడ్ కట్టడం మెట్రో కట్టడం దిస్ ఆల్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ డ్యామ్స్ వేయడం పవర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ స్టార్ట్ చేయడం దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ కాల్స్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ సో సిన్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ హ్యాస్ స్టార్టెడ్ వాట్ మ్యాసివ్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ అండ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఇనిషియేటివ్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ డ్యామ్స్ ఫర్ ది పవర్స్ అండ్ ఇరిగేషన్ బిల్డింగ్ ఆఫ్ రోడ్స్ అండ్ అర్బనైజేషన్ మైనింగ్ బిల్డింగ్ ఎక్సెట్రా సో అండ్ సో ఫార్ట్ ఓకే లాట్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ ప్రో టు ద డెవలప్మెంట్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఉండాలి ఇండియా డెవలప్మెంట్ డెఫినెట్గా రోడ్ కట్టడానికి ఒక నేషనల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు నేషన్కి కావాల్సిన ఉంటే మనం ఏమి ఇచ్చేస్తాం మన ల్యాండ్ అలాంటి అనేవాళ్ళు ఓకే దోజ్ డస్ నాట్ కేర్ అబౌట్ ఇమోషన్ దోజ్ డస్ నాట్ కేర్ అబౌట్ ది విరాసత్ ఓకే ద ప్రపో దే ఆర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ బట్ ప్రొపోనెంట్స్ అంటారు మీన్స్ హూ అగ్రీస్ ప్రొపోనెంట్స్ ఆర్ దోస్ పీపుల్ హూ అగ్రీస్ దట్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఇండియా డెవలప్మెంట్ కోసం the the uh, the house of anybody could be taken away no problem and alanti wallo okay 
India's development kosam, if you are destructing millions of construction or houses and destroying millions of livelihoods, then also it is okay. Alanti wallu. Proponents. They are called as proponents. Wallu yamantu narante. Large dams not <coughs> improves India's economy and lives of million people. Okay. Lives of million people. They are saying that. Obviously, as I have told you, the Abbots Nunchi, Hattie City, Toli Chokhi Lo, maybe, let's suppose, houses, house, uh, hundred people are there, who has to be displaced. Kani, Abbots Nunchi, Chadragad Nunchi, Vashna Vallu, 500 people will be there. Okay, in comparison lo, Ikada Ekwa Mandiye help hai Okay, more people will get help. So that is what the proponents are also saying. It's not wrong in land acquisition. It's not wrong in displacement. Okay, mana development ki vanni manam bed chayali. Just like many people at a time of demonetization, atla ne annaru. Demonetization na What they said is, it's a very, very good steps. Government want to bring black money, etc. What is wrong? Okay, we are, we are, we have to uh, help the government. We have to participate in the government initiative. So what is wrong to stand in the queue for two hours or four hours like that? So is problem in ledu. India kosam anni chedda vani andaru chala gatti ga ankoni. Okay, and we supported the government. We supported the government in all ways what we can do. But what the reports have told. We did not get any black money. Okay. Means the total excise not, was not a well thought excise. Okay. Instead of this, okay, government would have made stringent uh, what loss and government has uh, uh, made more, more investigations, more EDs, raids would have been there on each and everybody. Okay. Government would have done that also instead of this also. Okay. Currency a theodam, not a good uh, sign. But you can... Chapa Mar Sakra, you can raid, you can raid tens and thousands of the people, whoever you want. Okay, you can raid it. That's not an issue. But see, always remember one point. That is also one of the important uh, what I say suggestion to all of you also. Please learn for a minute. Okay, demonetization in the but according to RBI report, nothing we have got. Negligible amount we have got. But country suffered a lot. Okay, people lost a job. Okay, and 2000 rupees they have given, etc. etc. per day, which is very hardly to sustain life also at that time. Okay, and old people and those who are childless people, okay, uh, those who don't have sons and daughters, Walu, Kulo, Undadam, and Nirabadadam, that was also very, very uh, okay, heartening things happened. That's fine. But what was the output? Output was nothing. Output was nothing. In the same way, if you're preparing for examination, if how much you are learning, if you're not uh, putting the output out. I mean like if you're not performing well. So if you're not taking up test, then it is like you're losing it. You're losing your way. You're losing your way. Then later on you will be criticized. Fine. So proponents of Lehman Arante, no problem. India development kosam, manam ilukura chistam, manam edana chistam manam yeperu. But, but the flip side is, other side is, this sort of development has displaced around 40 mil, 42 million people. Four crores people has been displaced till now because of this development data. Telugu academic data only. Okay. Dams for irrigation hydropower are the major causes of forced displacement. Okay. Forced Hindu Kantanam, Marko Veladani Kiledu. We don't want to go from Toli Choki to somewhere else and settle. We are happy. We are very good. But we are forced to go. That's why it is called as what? Forced displacement. And majorly people are getting displaced for what? Irrigation, dams, kosam, and hydropower. World over, approximately 15 million people each year are forced to leave their homes in the name of what? Big development projects. Okay. According to UNO, there are two types of displacements are there. Internal displacement. Internal displacement. Okay. Within the country. From Tamil Nadu to Tamil Nadu to Telangana, Telangana to Andhra Pradesh. Okay, sorry. Okay. Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh to uh, Chhattis, <laughs> Madhya Pradesh. Okay, like that. Fine. Internal displacement. Then external displacement means what? Going to other countries. Okay. UNO has also classified development induced displacement. Another one is there. Development induced displacement. Okay. See. Some displacement, internal displacement could also because of what? Could also because of the situations of the country. Like Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. Because of terrorist activity. Like Ikada, Chhattisgarh, 
Chhattisgarh, Odisha, you will see what Nexalism because of their activity. North East Low, Akara, terrorist group, NCSN because of their activities. So people, because of terrorist activity, Nexalism, because of this uh, state rebels, okay, government against rebels, Nagaland, Walu, Andaru. Okay, so Akara, because of those people, because of those few people or few groups of organizations which are against the government, okay. So they they may get they may get displaced and they may start living in what some other area. This is because of what maybe the situation of that area is not good. And okay, the situation of the area is not good because of that. External displacement is uh, okay like Syria, Akkad Syria, Afghanistan. Okay, recently Afghanistan because of Taliban rule, Chala Mandi, India ki Okay, India has given refugee. Okay, Atlane, because of the country low unna situation manchika ledu, then that's why they will move from uh, one country to another country that is called as external displacement. Internal and external. And internal displacement low, another reason. One I have told you that because of terrorists, because of Ikra, Naxalism, etc. Okay, internal displacement could also happen because of what development projects. So when such things happen, that is called as development vala displacement. Development induced displacement under okay, and other displacement key normal displacement under they do we don't have like terrorist related displacement until they do okay, only development related displacement key development this induced displacement under for others they don't say they it is called as general way after independence. You know that lot of dams have been got, our power capacities has increased, many dams, many power projects we have launched, hydro power projects because of that. What happened till from independence till now, 5 crore people, 50 million means 5 crore people has got displaced. Okay, 5 crore people have got displaced, got my point, yes. Out of this 21 million population became poor. Okay, how many? 50 million displaced from the time of independence. Out of this, 21 million became poor. Means once a person is displaced from his own place to some other place, okay, poverty is crippling them. Poverty is wrapping them. Okay. And if you see the total 50 million displaced, because of dams, 16.4 million displaced. Dams walla. Because of mines, 2.5 million displaced. Because of industrial development, says zone, name zones, 1.25 million displaced. Because of wildlife sanctuary declaration walla kula, 0.6 million got displaced. So you can see in the hierarchy, hierarchy manchika choose kundi, they may come, it may come in the examination. Okay, the, uh, the, dis, the development induced displacement is highest for which one of the following, for dam construction, for mine de development, for industrial development, like that they will ask. So make sure that dam, dam is the highest one. In Assam, 14 lakh acres of land displaced. 19 lakh peoples got affected. In West Bengal, 47 lakh acres government took and 69 9 lakhs people got displaced, affected. Okay. And whenever you come across displacement aspects, okay, says zone declared Jaishin Government has declared a says zone. Okay, special economic zone. Special economic zone. Government has declared it. So, ikkad unna vallu, already the area lo unna shops vallu unna arkada, they direct, so government said that in this part, we are going to, we are going to have a, we are going for uh, road development. Thanks for following to me, have a nice day, bye bye, take care and do spread the uh, all videos, okay, so that everyone will take the benefit of it, have a nice day.